You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 13 to 17. Jesus went out again beside the sea. The whole crowd gathered around him, and he taught them. As he was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were also sitting with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. When the scribes and the Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick. I have come to call not the righteous but sinners. Welcome back to our daily reflection. St. Mark introduces us to a tax collector in today's gospel. His name is Levi. We know from history that the Jews hated tax collectors because they collaborated with the Roman authorities whom the Jews hated so much. No wonder they were considered outcasts and sinners by the Pharisees. Levi was well aware that he too was hated by his fellow Jews, knowing that he was one of those living on a razor's edge, kapit sa patalim in Filipino. So when Jesus called him to be one of his disciples, Levi was surprised to have been valued by Jesus, a Jew. But he felt so satisfied. For him, it was a great honor. His response was an immediate yes, without considering his wealth at stake. The Gospel says Levi abandoned everything to follow Jesus. It was like having won the lotto. He threw a huge party inviting not only Jesus and the other disciples, but also all his disreputable friends. Friends, I want to focus my reflection on Levi's immense joy for having been singled out by Jesus despite his status as an outcast and considered a sinner. I try to ask myself, how would I feel if the Holy Father invited me personally to lead a prayer in the presence of all the cardinals at the Vatican? Wow, I would probably feel tiny, unworthy, and incapable, aware of my lack of death in the spiritual field. But didn't Jesus say, I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. He came to minister to the lost, to people far away from God, people who are limited in the knowledge of the truth. So for me, today's gospel is an encouragement. It reminds me of Jesus who continually calls my attention whenever I sin consciously or unconsciously. He does not mind whether I often fall. He only wants my immediate yes to His call for repentance. Lord, keep the ear of my heart always open so that I may hear Your invitation to rise each time I fall. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify. 
produced by Paulines Multimedia. Have a good day.